Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I am working on a 9x12 little canvas and I thought I would do a dirty pour today. Um, I'm not even sure about my color selection here. I just pulled a few bottles and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, so we're going to start with black. And some purple and some gold. And this green is a new green I got. It's um, emerald green uh, by artist Flowloft. Because I can totally talk today. Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. It's kind of like um, a brighter, more vibrant green. This is available in the Flow Acrylic and in their um, Level Two Acrylic, which. The phthalo green that I use a lot is the level two, um, so that's what color this one is. And we're going to do yellow in there because yellow and black make green, and since we already have green in there, I don't mind if they mix together and make some green. And I had a paint mixing party this morning. It wasn't really a party because I actually hate mixing paint. It's like my least favorite thing to do um, with this. Because <laughs> I'd rather be boring than uh, paint, uh, mixing. So that's just my hot take on that. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more purple. Just make sure I have enough. Anyway, so Dirty Pour, guys, if you have seen one before instead of flipping this onto the canvas and then lifting the cup off of it I'm just going to pour it out and today I'm going to try I'm not going to tree ring it or circle it I'm going to try a weird something here and we'll see how this goes I'm gonna torch. I'm a little leery of my torches since that one almost flipping torched myself. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. It was in one of my uh, resin videos. It, um, yeah, torch. Look at it. There's little cells inside the cup. I don't know if you can see that. That's cool. Anyway. Yeah, I like almost killed myself with my torch. It was super fun. And now I'm kind of concerned, Kiss, that I do not have enough paint on this canvas. But we'll see. Okay, yeah, that was n almost really definitely not enough paint. Oh, goodness. That's okay. We'll just come back in and cover the sides. We're good at that, right? I mean, I'm good at it. I don't know about you guys. You probably always get just the right amount of paint each time, right? <laughs> okay. I'm a mess. This is messy. These were messy colors. But I don't have any more gloves. So we're kind of just stuck. Um, doing what we can here without gloves. 
Okay, this other corner is going to take some work. I don't know if I can tilt this whole thing back a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to want to cooperate. Oh gosh, now my cup flipped over the wrong way. Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, we're just going to... We're just gonna do this. It's cool. Okay. Okay, okay, good grief. Oh my gosh, I have a whole side over here. <laughs> I need more, more paint next time. In the cup. Okay. Good grief. Alright, I'm going to go wash my crazy messy hands and we'll be back for a close up. Okay guys, so this is just a few minutes later. It's getting darker outside so I'm losing my natural light. So I wasn't, like I said, sure about this color combination, but it kind of turned out pretty cool. Like the yellow kind of got lost for the most part it's peeking out a bit here and a little here but what I really like is the gold either mixed with that emerald green or it's sitting on top of the green here and it's making it look like this um palish gold green I don't know it's kind of cool the whole thing overall looks kind of to me it's like a, a reptilian space something <laughs> If that's a thing, which it is, because I just said it is. So, let's get you down for some close-ups. It did pinprick a lot, which is interesting. Usually that only happens to me when I use white. You guys know how I feel about that white. And these colors look really muted. This purple is actually a little darker. It's probably just the lighting. All that cell action. I like that area. So this, so there you can see the gold and you can see some of the real green coming through. But yeah, the, this gold is cool. <laughs> so I really like all that. Pretty neat. Overall I like it so um, just I know I'm always like trying to conserve paint because it's not cheap, but lesson learned that um, maybe having a little too much is better than not having enough. <laughs> anyway, if you guys like this video, hit subscribe and more will be coming your way. Thanks guys.